I don't even feel like I've been able to grieve. He's been gone almost 11 months now. And that's been my focus is just fighting for this. The widow of a well-known sheriff here on the South Plains is still working hard to help first responder families like hers nearly a year after his unfortunate death. Last July, Lynn County Sheriff Abraham Vega died from COVID-19, but the Texas Association of Counties didn't consider it a line of death duty. But there's new legislation making its way through Austin, hoping to change that. KLBK's Grace Moore sat down with Sheriff Vega's wife today to explain to us what the bill does and why she's so passionate about it. Senate Bill 22 will allow the families of first responders to receive line of duty death benefits if their family member dies from COVID-19 while in the line of duty, something the Vegas have been fighting hard for since they were denied the line of duty death designation last year. For them, this legislation moving forward is one step closer to victory. We had been told it would be a line of duty death when he, as soon as he passed away. It was almost a year ago when Sheriff Abraham Vega contracted COVID-19 while working at the Lynn County Sheriff's Department and later dying from the illness in July of 2020. When I got the denial letter, it was just crushing. Knowing that it had been a line of duty death, our belief. When a first responder dies in the line of duty, the family receives monetary compensation, coverage benefits, and they're honored at the state and national capital. And while more than 100 first responders in Texas have died from COVID-19, not all were receiving line of duty death designations, much like Sheriff Vega. But Senate Bill 22 changes that. I'm fighting for this because that's what he deserves. So from July till now, I've been fighting everything I could do. SB 22 establishes COVID-19 as a presumptive illness, which means it would be presumed that COVID-19 developed as a direct result of a first responder service, allowing families to receive line of duty death benefits. When Rachel Vega heard the bill was one step closer to passing, she said she felt like a weight had been lifted from her shoulders. I don't even feel like I've been able to grieve. That's been my focus is just fighting for this and uh, not that I'm ever going to be over this, but just that I can be at peace knowing that I don't have this weight to carry anymore. But wishing Governor Abbott had signed this into law long ago and calling on him to do it now. He could have done this a year ago. Trump signed it a year ago. Uh, I hope he does just automatically signs it now. So that the sacrifices Sheriff Vega made for his community won't soon be forgotten. It's really for him just the honor that I think he deserves um, to be with those who did sacrifice their life in the line of duty because he was fighting and protecting us at the end. The bill passed in the House yesterday 139 to 6. Those opposed it citing that it would be difficult to prove a specific connection between someone's service and their exposure to COVID-19. The bill will still have to go through the Senate once more before it's headed to the governor's desk to be signed.